Hello, the team to fly team. How are you today? Today I'm with Kat. Say hi. Hello. Kat is the new champion. I used to call I used to call Kat now the black frog because she's learning how to swim brace stroke like a frog and she likes to hit frog's legs I think. I do. <laughs> okay. So for the brace stroke cat remember the kicking is different in the freestyle. You are opening your legs and closing your legs. So let's go put the chest on the wall and let's show me how we can set up that kick. So what you can do guys is bring your feet from the first position which is flattened position here bring your feet under your bum slowly open the toe on the outside remember to before you push open your toe on the outside okay you want to be like this and then you're going to kick on the outside and close your feet and touch okay so this you will try to do slowly on your own okay bring your legs slowly open the toe kick outside and close your feet touch okay at the end kick again and stay so at the end when you are in this position back try to stay for two seconds is the time for you to glide okay let's go bring it up and kick beautiful bring it up and kick beautiful in the water bring it up and kick bring it up and kick bring it up and kick bring it up and kick, it up and kick. okay perfect yeah. so now the breast stroke huh? come it's not only about how good you are at kicking is how good you are at timing so it's all about when you kick the purpose of the kick is for you to enter the water and glide horizontal so a lot of people the mistake they do is they kick they breathe mm -hmm. uh, you kick to glide to go through the water so let's do the arrow position you just push on the wall flat in the streamline and then you give me one kick and then you try to glide as far as possible so no breathing okay we really do the basic so you take a deep breath, you push on the wall to glide. When you have done maybe one or two seconds, you do one kick and you stay underwater for another three, four seconds, okay? So just do bowels, let's go. And kick. And wait. One, two, three, and stop. That's good, that's good. So we do again, one more time. We do the lap like this, okay? You push on your foot to be horizontal, and then after you do the kick. Let's go. And kick, and glide. One, two, three, and stop. Very good. Okay, let's try to maximize your kick. So to get more power, you want to kick faster than when you load. Loading is bringing your legs to you, kicking is pushing the water, yeah? Okay, let's go, it's good. Stop. Wow, okay, that was pretty cool. Now let's try to do, instead of one kick, we are going to do a sequence of three kick. Three kick is long, without breathing. So when you do your three kick, take a deep, deep breath before you go because you will need oxygen. You cannot breathe in this uh, drill. So you push on the wall, you kick one, you stay two seconds. You kick two, you stay two seconds. You kick three, you stay two seconds. So it's a total of six seconds on the water, yeah? Okay, let's try. And go. And one, and two, and three, and stop. Whew. Is it okay? Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Okay, we will do one more time and I will be on the back this time to check on the back. Three, two, one, and go. And one, and two, and three. Yes, yeah, stay horizontal and touch the floor. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the, the biggest part is done. The biggest part is the kick. Um, if your kick can bring you enough far to forward, to glide, then you have already done the hardest. Now, let's try to breathe. So, put your both hands on the front like when you glide. Okay, your both hands are on the front right here. Okay, when you breathe now, try to think about doing a little circle with your hands, pulling underwater in front of you and coming back. So both hands are doing the same thing at the same time. Try to catch the water inside your hand here and in your forearm here. Huh? You want to breathe here. And do a small circle and bring it back forward. So now, exactly, exactly. So when you do this, when you pulling your hands, okay, you must breathe with your head. 
So it's kind of connected. When you want to breathe, you move your hands. And you want to move your hands after you glide for three seconds. So the idea is, let's push on the wall. We wait for three seconds. <coughs> and then let's start with the hands. So we will make the whole things together, okay? Push on the wall, wait. And then when you need to breathe, let's do hands up, heads up. And kick, look down. When your head goes up, remember to keep your head just above the surface. Inhale. And kick. When you kick, you are going back to your streamline. So chin down again. Okay. Okay. Let's practice. I will help you. Okay, so push. <coughs> okay, let's glide. When you need to breathe, pull and kick. Correct, that's the timing. Slowly. Lift up your head and kick. So remember guys, when you lift up your head, you pull your hands together. And kick your legs. You can see behind. And breathe, kick your legs. That's it. Again. And breathe, kick your legs. And glide. There you are. How you feel? Good? I'll let you try on your own. The black frog is ready. <laughs> Let's try. It's good, cat. Ali. Go. Okay, so, and breathe and kick. Nice. And breathe and kick. Nice. Very good. Woo! That was a good one. If I see a smile, usually I'm happy because sometimes, huh, remember, it was not easy at the beginning. So let's continue to practice this. And remember to go slowly, guys. Take it easy. Practice in the shallow pool. And Sam, if you have any questions, please write a comment, send us an email, or download the app Swim to Fly. We'll help you for more video. Thank you, Kat, for today. Thank you. I think you're going for skiing. I'm going for skiing. Mm -hmm. Ah, lucky you. Merry Christmas. Thank See you. Bye-bye.